All right, I already had my person drawn in, but I'm gonna go ahead and add my background. I decided to do sunflowers, and I went ahead and started adding leaves as well. You can think of your pattern after you've drawn your person in order to make it all fit. I just continue to fill in the leaf and deciding how I want it to lay out first. I decided for it to go all the way around neatly and sometimes I took a line and traced that. Alright, after I have my pattern fully filled in, I'm going to go ahead and start coloring behind the sunflowers. I decided to use the color brown. Now you want to be careful not accidentally color over your person or your background pattern. I lightly outlined around my person in order to make sure the lines stayed neat. After I finished coloring my background, I went ahead and started coloring my pattern. I decided to start with the leaves and color them all in green. Lightly outlining it once again before I go in and color in order to make sure it stays inside the lines. And I have one of my sunflowers filled in. What you can do with the background is either fill it in more with marker or you can go in with your watercolored colored pencils and fill it in like that. I filled in more of the sunflowers and continued coloring in my background. Alright, after my background is fully filled in, I'm going to go ahead and start coloring in the face. I'm just filling in the neck first before moving on to the head. Now you can choose any colors you want. It doesn't even have to be a normal skin color if you like. I'm just slowly filling that in lightly first before I go in and add pressure with the colored pencil. After I've lightly colored it in, I might go in and make some areas darker than other spots. This means that there are shadows on my person's face. This is optional, but it's something I like to do to really make the face pop. I'm slowly once again still coloring around, trying to avoid the eyes until I'm finished with the rest of the face. As I keep going, I layer it and make it darker in order to fill in the white spaces underneath it. Right, and the face shows after I've done a whole bunch of layers until it's completely filled in. Once again, you might use markers or you might use watercolored pencils. I'm doing the same thing with the clothes. I'm lightly filling it in at first with all the colors I like before going in and adding another layer and adding more pressure with my colored pencil to fill them in completely. I added light wrinkles to the clothing and that is optional, but it adds a pop of color and makes it more realistic. I finished the pants and now I'm going to do the same thing with the shirt and also the shoes. Alright, and I finished the shoes and most of the shirt. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this off. After all my layering, this is my final piece. 